What's your level of frustration not being able to get runs across in that situation? Yeah, disappointing. I mean, we had a couple chances today to, you know, for a while there, get back into the game. S Snell for them was obviously really good, made it tough on us, um, but had some opportunities. And, and you know, when you're not, <clears throat> you know, scoring runs in bunches or hitting ball at the ballpark, you got to uh, take advantage of those. And, and, you know, that that one got away there for, for us. And so it's frustrating. Um, but you deal with it and uh, and get ready for, for Toronto. You mentioned Snell, just the day as a whole. Are you okay with the team's approach overall, or is it a matter yeah, of... Yeah, and we knew, you know, we knew, you know, he was on some sort of a pitch count as they try and build him back up. So I thought we did a good job, really, in the first three innings of, of making it difficult because, I mean, there's, you know, he's been one of the best pitchers in the league, and I think you saw that today. You saw that the stuff-wise, uh, how tough he can be. I thought those first three innings, we really made it at least tough on him. Um, and then he kind of cruised through that fourth and fifth inning with a, with the low pitch total. So we didn't get him out of there as, as quickly as we would have liked. But, you know, we got to we gotta take advantage of these opportunities when we get them. What was the explanation in the bottom of the eighth, the Stanton double? It looked like he could have been at third on that one. So. Yeah, I, I mean... You know, unfortunately, that seems to always be a default, you know, just make it a double, which, you know, is what I was upset about. Um, you know, I, how consequential it was, you know, I don't I don't know that. But I, I feel like in those spots, you know, let's let's grind a little harder, especially John Carlos striding it out, you know, and clearly, you know, would have been at third base. So I just wish they'd grind down a little harder on those situations where, you know, we just always default to the safe automatic double, which didn't seem to be the case at all in that situation. Well, Aaron, how much do you um, attribute the struggles of the offense to the absence of Judge and Sanchez, or is that not a sufficient uh, reason for this? Um, well, I mean... <laughs> Judge is one of the best players in the league. You know, Sanchi is a you know, great offensive player. So, I mean, two huge cogs, that's, that's a big deal. You know, that said, we have more than capable people in, those, in that room of, of being a good offense. And I think for the most part, we have done a good job of scoring runs. We've been shut, shut down here these last two days. Even when we've had some some opportunities last night to to climb back in tonight to climb back or today to climb back into the game, you know we have we have people more than capable of of putting runs on the board, but you know you, you obviously take two star level players out. That's that's certainly a big deal. Steve, Aaron, the other day uh, Brian Cashman um, w uh, said that. Part of his job is keeping an eye on the team ahead of the Yankees and the teams behind. Keep, keep an eye, keeping an eye on the teams ahead of you, the Red Sox, but also keeping an eye on the teams behind you. Is that becoming a little more operative now? No. I, I mean, look, we're all aware of if you follow the sport, watch the sport, you kind of know what the league's doing. But our job is focusing on us and and you know today we had an opportunity to win a series and it's frustrating that we couldn't finish it off um but our focus is the toronto blue jays and marcus stroman now coming in that's that's our focus it's not you know i mean everyone i pay attention to the sport i know what's going on but i'm not thinking about you know what other teams ahead behind that's I mean that's just frankly a waste of time. It's we got to we got to get after it. We got to get after the Blue Jays. That is my focus. That is our team's focus. Uh, Susan and Meredith. In that first inning, what was Tanaka's struggle, and how did he fix it to get further in the game? I, I think it took a minute to find his split, actually, um, and and it seemed like I got to go back and look at it, and I was just thinking about it a little bit. Um, you know, it's the. So, some of their hits they got seemed to come with two strikes, um, and I, I just think it it took them an inning or two to kind of find his split-fingered fastball, and, and it looked like they took advantage of some pitches up in that strike zone off the split, and uh, you know, made those two runs stand up. You know, Massa, 
uh, pitched well today, um, righted the ship, and, and gave us six good innings. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't support him enough offensively. I know Hicks stayed in the game, but it looked as though he hit first base awkwardly yeah. at the state of the outfield. Are you just ho holding your breath in that situation? Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, when I see see him trailing down the line, I, I didn't see the player see what happened. Um, you know, first thing when he's walking slow and, and Reggie's walking with him, you know, you, you fear, you know, hamstring, muscle pulls or whatever. But I guess it was rolling the ankle a little bit on the, on the bag, um, which hopefully is, you know, hopefully better than obviously pulling something. As long as it's not too significant, we'll, we'll obviously get with him hereafter. He's good enough to stay in the game uh, and, and see, see the severity of it and see if there's any swelling in there. Or, but, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, and, and, and a guy like Aaron who's so important to what we do, um, yeah, you certainly hold your breath in that spot. Aside from Stevie looking at it, any tests or anything? On, on the ankle, any test or anything, or just Stevie evaluating? No, just Stevie evaluating him on the fly, able to stay in the game, and then, uh, you know, they checked him in between innings, and when Stevie came up, gave the thumbs up that, that he was okay. So we'll, we'll see how he does here in the next couple hours. Uh, Mark and Bob. Aaron, Nick, Greg Bird seemed to be the focal point, at least among the fans. How would you describe his struggle and what he attributed to? Yeah, you know, he, I feel like he's a little bit, um, you know where he was when he when he first came back, kind of struggling to impact the ball when he's getting pitches and just lacking a little bit of that explosion we saw there for a few weeks when he really started swinging the bat well before the All Star break. That maybe three week period where he's hitting the ball out of the ballpark. I feel feel like right now uh, there's just not that explosion through the zone and um, you know it, it sending in some fly outs and 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 some strikeouts tough matchup today with Snell and the lefties that they brought in against them but um, you know we're just not seeing the ex I, I would say the explosion right now uh, when he impacts the ball when he gets a pitch to impact you know it's it's that fly ball instead of really sticking it Bob to the right uh, Aaron just following up on Mark's question are you okay with bird first pitch swinging bases loaded oh yeah 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 I mean, that's that's one thing he's great at is controlling the zone, and, and that's a situation there left on left that y you don't want to you're – in, you're in hit mode, and, you know, so zero issue with that, yeah. Dan. You talked before the game about Stan, you know, monitoring his running. Obviously, he couldn't really do that today with the beating out the double play and the, on the double. Uh, any, with any setbacks from that no. or any worry about that? No, it seems to be good, and, and watching him – Actually, when he was running out that triple slash double, whatever, um, you know, he did a good job of not not playing umpire and just running hard. And I'm I'm kind of screaming like, you know, because I'm always cognizant of him and just like easy. And he was, I thought his stride, which which I thought he, I think he's done a really good job. I thought he was striding out really well under control, but with some with some pace behind it. Um, he's doing a really good job of managing it, and 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 he's doing well, obviously. Uh, Brendan, and back with Bird. You mentioned not seeing the explosion there. That sounds physical. Um, yesterday, Cashman said that Bird still might be getting used to playing every day on on these ankles. Are you? concerned there's something physical or do you think this is maybe fatigue right um i i do feel like he is i don't feel like he's injured um i i, I feel like fatigue is certainly a factor or or maybe lack of stamina you know and again i think it's a result and i don't want to get too much playing doctor or whatever but <clears throat> You know, just coming off of surgeries the last couple of years, coming off the surgery this year, I think he's over it and past it. But I also think there's a level of building up that stamina and explosion and the fact that you're still recovering from a surgery. You know, so, you know, I, I don't think there's any question that if he can stay healthy that a month from now, six months from now, it's it's better. It's more explosive. Um, so. That that's something that we kind of monitor, talk about, and and hopefully uh, he can he can kind of get through this while building up that stamina that makes him you know special when he's really on time and impacting the ball.